Police in New York City and around the nation are in a state of high alert in the wake of the sniper slayings in Dallas. Steve, do you feel that police officers across the country feel as though they have targets on their back right now? Based upon the political climate, how could a police officer walk the streets and feel safe in, in this time and, and era? On CNN, retired NYPD detective Harry Houck broke down in tears over the senseless bloodshed. <laughs> Harry, we know you this is... You have a nine millimeter handgun. Go ahead, Harry, okay. please. <sighs> and you're taking on somebody with an automatic weapon And you have a bulletproof vest that will not stop that round. I hope people could really appreciate what these police officers did. In 2014, two cops were gunned down in cold blood in Brooklyn. The killer on a revenge mission for two civilians killed in confrontations with cops. An officer, say, patrolling on the street, doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. So what does he or she do to stay safe? Oh. Uh, an officer today has to have their head on a swivel. They've got to check all around them. They've got to watch their six, which is their back. They can't drop their guard for a moment. Anywhere they go, and we saw it happen in Brooklyn, anywhere they go, they've got to be alert, they've got to have situational awareness, and they can't drop their guard.